What is up, you guys? Welcome to the animated Oscar sec. If you don't know what this is, it's kind of like a Q&A, but with like a list of predetermined questions. You just answer each question with your opinion, and that's pretty much it. I was tagged by Brian Lomax, a local YouTuber of mine, so thanks for that tag, Brian. I'm sorry it took a little bit to get to this video, but I was doing all these other reviews and all these other videos, so I'm finally here, so let's answer these questions. Question number one is a film that should have been nominated for an Oscar that wasn't, for me, Looper. How on earth this got nominated for nothing? I have no idea. I mean, not even visual effects, nothing sound wise, nothing story wise, nothing. Question number two is a terrible film that was nominated for an Oscar. I'm just gonna go really simple for me and say Transformers 2. I mean, it was, it was nominated for like sound editing or sound design or something, but that's the best one I can think of. Question three is a movie that won an Oscar that you really don't care for. For me, it's The Hurt Locker. We had to watch The Hurt Locker in college for literally no reason whatsoever and I just don't get why it won an Oscar. I mean, it's well made and well filmed and well acted and blah, 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 all that boring talk, but the film is just boring. I mean, a film can be well made, but it can still be boring as hell, and The Hurt Locker for me is a perfect example of that. I just found the film to be very, very boring, and I just don't care for The Hurt Locker. Question number four is a film about a robot you love. I'm gonna go Terminator 2 on this one, because, I mean, I know wall is a big answer that a lot of people want to use, but I'm gonna go Terminator 2, because it's just one of the best films of all time. Question number five is a film with very little or no dialogue that you love and like I've just mentioned Wall-E that has a little dialogue in it in terms of the robots but I love Wall-E. Question number six is a film that you like but everyone else loves. For me a perfect example of this is Scott Pilgrim vs the World and I know why I don't like this film as much as a lot of other people is because it's more catered to like the Nintendo like old age Nintendo video gamers and it has like lots of cool references and homages to the classic video games and I did not grow up in that era, I grew up like late in that era, like six, Nintendo 64 end of days kind of era, like PS2 kind of times so I, I'm not really like attached to all that Nintendo stuff so that's probably why I didn't like it as much, I still think it's a good film, it's just most of the humour for me falls flat and yeah it's a stylish, stylistically speaking it's really awesome, but I'm just like, yeah, Scott Pilgrim's okay. Question number seven is a film that grows on you the more you watch it. Now, this one is not really a big answer, but I'm going to say Monsters University because I watched it again recently and I haven't seen it since it first came out in 2013 at the cinema. And I remember really liking it when I saw it at the cinema, so I re-watched re it again and I still really like it. I still think it's a pretty good film. Question number eight is a film you wish you could convince everyone else to watch, and that is 50-50. I watched this film for the first time this year and wow it is awesome I mean it's it's just it's really great how they took such a serious and heartbreaking concepts like cancer and all that stuff and just made it a relatable funny film with Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Seth Rogen and it has the dramatic moments you really care for JGL's character I love 50-50 all round. Question number nine is an underrated comedy and I had a really hard time thinking about this one but one comedy I like I'm not gonna say it's completely underrated but Scary Movie 3 I, I just Something about that film, I'm just like, I find it really funny. There's just so many funny lines in it and so many funny spoof moments in it. But another comedy I think a lot of people don't talk about is one called Road Trip. I like Road Trip for some strange reason, especially the part where they steal that bus from the school of the deaf people. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm a good person. Don't get me wrong. I'm not I'm not all for stealing deaf people's buses or anything like that. But I'm just saying. I like me some Road Trip and I like me some Scary Movie 3, what can I say? Question number 10 is what is a film that is made for kids that scares you or is a film that you would think would scare kids but doesn't really scare me? I don't, I couldn't really think of like a whole film but I can think of one scene in a film, the other film Monster House, there's that one scene where he's like sleeping and he has a nightmare and the house is like forming a shadow on his bedroom wall and it like goes Arr! and jumps out. When I was younger that kind of scared me a little bit, only that one scene, the entire film didn't scare me but that one bit got me a little bit oh my god oh. so yeah i'll say the one scene in monster house because i can't really think of a whole film that i think would scare kids today question number 11 is a film based off a graphic novel you love i'm not well rounded in graphic novels and all that stuff so i'm just gonna really really easy and just say the dark knight for that one question number 12 is a sequel that's better than the original i'm gonna reuse an answer i've already used but terminator 2 i think is a lot better than terminator 1. question number 13 is what is your favorite film with ghosts in it I don't like horror films that much, so I'm just going to cheat a little bit and say Casper. <laughs> question number 14 is your favourite Wes Anderson film? I can't answer this question because I've never seen a Wes Anderson film. Question number 15 is your favourite Tim Burton film? I haven't seen a lot of Tim Burton films, so I'm just going to say an answer that I think a lot of people don't like this film, but Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I actually kind of appreciate that film for what it is. 
So yeah, that's my favourite Tim Burton film, I guess. Question number 16 is a film that you like parts of but don't like the rest of. For me, it's Hobo with a Shotgun. I understand it's supposed to be like a grade B kind of grindhouse kind of film, but I don't know, I just I just, I just, just watched the film. It has some funny parts. I mean, there's one part where he shoots a person in the head and his head literally explodes with brains, blood and skull just and just like, yeah, I mean, you can't deny the awesomeness of that. But overall, I'm just like, man, it's pretty long. Question 17 is a film about a family you love. I'm gonna say for this one, The Simpsons Movie. I love The Simpsons Movie. Question number 18 is a film based on a true story you love. For me, I'm gonna say 127 hours. I really like that film a lot. Question number 19 is a film that takes a strange turn in act two. I'm gonna say flight plan for that one because I watched it just randomly one day at my dad's house and throughout the first half, it was really intriguing. Where did her daughter go on the plane? And then all of a sudden, it tells you what's happening and I'm just like, Oh no, it's a very generic hostage negotiation thriller kind of bomb kind of film. Question number 20 is your favourite Marvel movie. Now this is a very big debate I have inside my own head. I mean, my favourite Marvel film, in terms of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, is either The Avengers or Winter Soldier. For this video, I'm going to say Winter Soldier, just for this video. I might change my mind tomorrow or the next day, but I'll say Winter Soldier for this video. Question 21 is your favourite Disney princess film. Now, this is another one you're all going to hate me for because I haven't seen a lot of Disney princess films like Snow White or Cinderella. I've never seen any of those films, so... I'm just gonna go for the one that I've seen and that's Frozen. And finally, question 22, your favourite film about two friends, Dumb and Dumber. So that concludes the animated Oscars tag, that's all 22 questions answered. Probably not the best answers ever, but I'm sorry, but that's that's just what I got. That's what I've got to offer you guys. So thank you Brian Lomax for the tag, now I have to tag some people, so who should I tag? I'm gonna tag Theo from Theo's Movie Reviews. Alex from AP Studios and Dave from Durant Cinema. You guys have been tagged to just answer all these questions in one video and yeah, you're tagged. <laughs> so thank you again Brian Lomax for this tag. It was really fun trying to pick out all the answers. It was hard but it was fun. And if you like this video, be sure to click here to subscribe because I got stuff coming to you guys all the time.